Good morning, everyone. Good to see you all here. A nice sunny day in Mississauga Lakeshore. This is home. This is where I grew up, like these little kids. This is where um, my children grew up. And they have made plenty of friends as a result of coming to organizations like this when they were very young. And they're friends to this day. They're now adults, they're in their 30s, and now they're having children coming here, making more friends, enabling us all to enjoy the pleasures of living. And that's what this is about too. They bring people together here at Bridgeway. I know we celebrated 40 years not long ago, and it was an amazing event where we saw people come together, uh, parents and children, showing appreciation for the good work that Bridgeway does. So thank you to all the volunteers and the staff and the team at Bridgeway for what they do. We're here to make an exciting announcement about the Canada Child Benefit. And with me today are some extraordinary individuals, outstanding members of caucus, le leaders in our community, and certainly in our team. Minister Suds is someone who has taken great passion as Minister of Families, Children and Social Development, and the Honorable Kamal Kara, Minister of Diversity, Inclusion, and Persons with Disability are joining with us today to make this announcement. Thank you both for being here. We're also on the lands of uh, the Indigenous people, and I want to bring an acknowledgement as we gather here today about the, the Treaty of the, of the Lands and the Territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Indigenous people, and recognizing the Abidjue, Chippewa, and Midwich. This is important for us to acknowledge uh, the extent of which the Indigenous people have made for, and of course, Mississauga's named, its very name, expresses our reconciliation and acknowledgement of their contributions over many years, long before uh, many of us came to this country. So thank you for that, and it is true that um, we work closely together to try to bring forth greater collaboration. Um, we hear a lot also about the issues of affordability. It's one of the issues that we're here today to recognize our support um, for families who need uh, greater assistance. And it is a top priority for our government and certainly for my colleagues who are with me today to provide some added support. Now, we, of course, we provide old age security and guaranteed income supplements, and we have $10 a day child care. There's a lot of work that we're doing with the dental programming. Um, all of this is a means by which to support our families. And uh, today's announcement for the child care benefit that Minister Suds is going to make in a moment is in keeping with uh, uh, the desire for this government and for all of us to help one another. You know, Canada's a great place to live. And I got to tell you, the people I meet with, they are as compassionate as they are competitive. And I got to, and they're, they're also very concerned about being fair as we are prosperous. So we will do our utmost to try to provide for all of us to do best, to do our best. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I want to uh, introduce uh, our minister, uh, the minister responsible for this file, alongside Kamal Kara, the honorable the Honorable Jenna Suds to make the announcement. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much, Charles. Uh, good morning, bon matin, tout le monde. Uh, really excited to be here at the Bridgeway Family Center with all of you. And a big thank you to Bridgeway Family Center for hosting us here today. I'm so thrilled uh, to be here with my colleagues, uh, Minister Kara, as well as a local and a force to be reckoned with, uh, Member of Parliament, Charles Souza. At the heart of everything that our government does is our commitment to Canadian families and our commitment to affordability for Canadian families and fairness for every generation. C'est pour cette raison que nous sommes là, à là aujourd'hui. Every child in Canada deserves the best possible start in life. I've been a parent for almost 20 years now, and I can tell you it's a surprise. It's shocking how quickly the expenses add up when you are raising a family. Whether it's summer camp, someone mentioned that to me earlier today, whether that's extracurricular activities, 
new clothes as they never stop growing, I can attest to, back to school supplies, or the price of groceries, which we have seen continue to rise. Raising a family is expensive. And right now, paychecks aren't going as far as they used to. So it's become more difficult for parents to keep up with the rising cost of raising a child. Young families, some of those behind us that I got to speak to earlier today, they're doing their best. They're working hard and they're trying to make ends meet. But sometimes that's not enough. Our government has been delivering programs and benefits to Canadian families since 2015 to help ease with the rising cost of living and to ensure that an affordable life is within reach for everyone. Benefits like the one we're here to talk about today, the Canada Child Benefit or the CCB, has been incredibly impactful in that mission. The Canada Child Benefit is now eight years old this summer and it's going strong. We created it in 2016 to help millions of hardworking families with children across this country. And we quickly saw how impactful this benefit was for Canadian families. To make sure that the Canada Child Benefit continues to support families and make a difference in their lives, it has been increased every year since 2018. In doing so, we've helped to give families a sense of financial certainty in a world that can often be feeling uncertain. And this year is no exception. So I'm thrilled to announce today that the Canada Child Benefit will increase once again. Thank you. So for the 2024-25 benefit year, Families who need it most will now receive up to $7,787 per child under the age of six and $6,570 per child age six to 17. This is an increase of $350 and $295 from the last year. And if you know me, you know I like numbers. So here's, here's a few I'd like to share with you today about this incredible benefit. Uh, today, the Canada Child Benefit is helping almost 3.5 million families across this country and over 6 million children. 6 million children. It's incredible. And it's put back uh, 25 billion tax-free dollars into the hands of Canadian families each year across this country. This is money that we know parents can put to good use, whether it's for healthy food on the table or more clothes as our children continue to grow and to grow. But we know that the Canada Child Benefit on its own is not enough. To help children get the best possible start in life, we've also earmarked $1 billion in budget 2024 for Canada's first ever national school food program. Because no children, no child should have to learn on an empty stomach. Childcare is another expensive cost. We all know when it comes to raising a family, raising kids. And we have made incredible progress since 2025, with families in eight provinces and territories already seeing childcare reach $10 a day. Here in Ontario, uh, childcare costs have already been cut in half saving families up to $8,500 a year and is on track to get to $10 a day here in Ontario by 2026. So the Canada Child Benefit, the National School Food Program, affordable child care, these are three proof points of our government's dedication to young families and kids.